Every one of us has a story. Some stories are sad and some are happy. Some are pretty tragic while others are quite unfortunate. Some of us are victims of our own choices while others are victims of fate. These are the ones who do not have a choice on what they can become. A lot of us have stories whose endings they can change, while there are others whose stories they may do nothing about. Meet Hamilton Kamal, a Form 1 student at the Highway Secondary School in Nairobi. Hamilton is your average 14-year-old young man. He is a jolly young man with lots of energy and a nerving charm. Hamilton, like any other young man his age, has dreams. He would want to be a doctor so that he can fight the many rare diseases that there are in this world. He also has dreams that one day he will meet a beautiful girl, fall in love, and start his own family. But beneath this happy, innocent face, lies something that you and I cannot see. Hamilton suffers from hemophilia. I was diagnosed with, that I had hemophilia when I was five years old. Hemophilia is a condition whereby a pupi is a condition of lack of adequate platelets. Hemophilia is a rare genetic disorder that prevents blood from clotting properly as a result, prolonged external bleeding can occur spontaneously due to injury, bruises, dental work, or even surgery. Internal bleeding can also be extremely dangerous for people with hemophilia. Deep bleeding inside joints and muscles can lead to permanent damage. The most common existing hemophilia treatment is administered in a clotting factor replacement therapy into the bloodstream through an infusion. These treatments are required throughout a patient's life. I remember an instant that there was a day my knee, I was playing with my friend and my knee got injured. So. I called one of my friends who I had shared with him my condition and he said that Tumpeleke nyumbani and all the all my friend agreed so I was I was rushed home and to the to the chemist so that the, uh, the injection may be administered Nilikundua <laughs> kona hemophilia akiwa na 5 years wakati mtoto anangonganga meno ya kwanza juu venye lingoa hiyo meno ari breed kupita kiasi nikampeleka Bagadhi hospital Bagadhi wakaniambia niende Kenyatta ambapo Kenyatta nilienda wakaniraza huko wakati huo kuko na dawa kuko na dawa tunaitanga factor 8 kulikuwa na prasma peke yake so alienda akakaa Kenya kama wiki moja ya kwanza akatafuta hiyo prasma akawekwa na ikaacha ku breed tukarudi kwa nyumba Amaton Kamau is my student he joined us recently in form 1 uh, when he came to form 1 the father came to me and explained to me that the son has a condition called hemophilia. And since then I've been monitoring him, I've been talking to him. He has given me several incidences that have affected him. Uh, like he tells me, uh, there's one time he had to be out of school for a whole month 
because when he got an injury, he didn't have uh, any medicine in store where he normally keeps in the medicine in a chemist near his home and the father didn't have money. So he had to use ice as a temporary measure to relieve his pain and that is why he was not able to go to school until the father had money and they went to Kenyatta and got the medication. About 4,700 people in Kenya suffer from hemophilia. Now, only 700 of this lies under the Kenyan Hemophilia Association umbrella. This tells you that a large number of people living in hemophilia never get medication. The Kenyan Hemophilia Association is a program where patients ailing from hemophilia are brought together to create one forum that makes things easy to articulate their issues to the government. If this is the case then, why is it expensive to treat hemophilia? Dr. Kibet, a doctor at the Kenyatta National Hospital, explains that the production of the medicine is a delicate process and requires a lot of attention. The process of producing is extremely expensive. That is a challenge. And then you have to pull so many plasmas, all right, the fluid part of blood, to form just some small powder that you can infuse, you can dilute, and you actually give a patient. So the cost, and then whatever powder you have, you have to deactivate any virus in it, make sure it is safe, so that you're not picking microorganisms from you know, don donors and pushing into a patient. So to be able to manage these children, we treat at a bare minimum with three infusions out of a bleed. So if I come with a bleed in my elbow, I should at least be given three injections continuously. That is as good as getting 200,000 worth of injections on a daily basis for at least three days. So one single bleed for me to tame will cost me about 600,000 Kenya shillings. Now that makes the disease impossible to manage. And this has led us to form a program through Kenya Hemophilia Association that tries to look for donors, tries to convince the government to manage it its own citizens. As a Form 1 student, Hamilton has a lot of opportunities to play with his age mates. Unfortunately, he is not able to play as much as he would want to, since when his classmates notice him playing and they know his condition, they will tell him to get out of the play area because he might hurt himself and eventually he might die. This means that Hamilton is secluded from the rest of his playmates. Hemophilia truly affects me as a growing up boy because I cannot be able to play other games like football, handball or hockey with my fellow students because usually my mother wants me against playing games with, which may cause injuries. Mtoto na nilazima achezi. So, akienda kucheza, wenzake pia wajui yeye mwenyewe, akisha pona hivu atambui, anaendelea tuna mchezo zake. Akicheza, anaiza umia. Sana sana magoti ndio zinafuranga sana. Ama maari kuna juiti yoyote. Anaiza gongo afure. Hamilton was born and lives in Mukuru, Fuatanyayo, a slum that is just a few kilometers away from the highway secondary school. Mukuru Fotenyayo is a very congested place. Getting there by any means of transport is a very big problem. Motorbikes cannot reach there. Tuk-tuks cannot get there. Uber cannot get there. So when Hamilton gets injured, it is a lot of work moving him from his house to a place where he can get 
the means of transport, which will take him and his parents about 300 to 400 meters to get to the place where he can get the means of transport. Sazingine hata sina pesa. Hiyo hiyo boda boda ikiona uko na mzigo hapa nao ndo wanazidi kwa hiyo nini? Charges zao zinakuwa juu. Sasa inabidi ukikakamue ama uongee na huyo mtu afikifiki akiwa mwenye huruma anambeba anampeleka hosi. Tena kufika Kenyata nimwekele kwa mgongo sasa muanze hizo shughuli zingine. Hamilton is supposed to be covered by the National Hospital Insurance Fund under the Edu Afia program. However, in Kenya, NHIF does not cover the rare diseases like hemophilia. Kenya haitambui hemophilia. At least tunashukuru ngi dona wa huko nje juu dona kuja na hii dawa. But serikali ya Kenya ijaza kutupatia. Sasa kama Kenya ingekuwa inatupatia dawa, ingekuwa sasa hizi baka imefika kwa makemist. Singekuwa nasumbuka. As a school, we are assisted when it comes to sickness by the NHIF cover provided for by the government. Unfortunately, where we take our boys, which is South Sea Hospital, they are not, the students are not covered with uh, the policy on hemophilia. So he can only be treated at Kenyatta National Hospital. And therefore, we found that a challenge a bit because that meant that he had to come back and explain to us how we were going to deal with his case. The Kenyan government has been nice to us and uh, last year they allowed us to do a budget for about 1.5 billion worth of drugs for us to manage these children effectively. Hamilton is from a cultural community that practices circumcision. And if he doesn't go through the rite of passage, he will be considered a child. So Hamilton had to go through circumcision at the risk of bleeding to death. Ili pofika wakati wako wakutairiwa, alikuwa tairiwe akiwa kila six. Ju, ukiwa na condition, unastairi, utairiwe ukiwa mchanga, mdogo, ujo factor isiende mingi. Ju, kitairi ukiwa mkubwa, itaenda mingi. Na huwa wakati, dawa ikakosa. Kafika kila seven, bado yo dawa ikakosa. Lakini na shukuru mungu sababu venya limaliza kila zeit, December, mm, tulipigiwa simu na kenyata, wakatuambia ni mpeleke akatairi. There are many other young men who may not be able to go through this because they have not gotten to know about the association. It is our appeal that these people may be reached so that they can join the Kenya Hemophilia Association. It is our hope and it is our prayer that Hamilton and other people suffering from this disease will be covered so that the parents do not spend the amount of money and time that they spend in taking care of Hamilton and the rare condition that he has. It is also our prayer that we will be able to come up together and support young people who are suffering from this kind of condition so that they may be able to live to a ripe old age. This is our story. A story of love, bleeding love. For Hamilton, he is going to grow and he's going to live and he's going to become a doctor and he may eventually discover the cure for hemophilia. <laughs>